hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be more updated to all who subscribe thank you so much enjoy watching so here it is. I will be sharing to you one of my learnings when I took Visual Graphics Design in TESDA. The basic, Photoshop. Don't worry if you are using Windows computer or laptop kasi dyan din ako nagsimula at natuto. I will be using MacBook Air for this tutorial kasi lag na yung lumang laptop ko but the features are all the same. Pati sa keyboard shortcuts, maliban lang sa control at command. Control sa Windows, command sa Mac. Anyway, let us start with what is Photoshop. Photoshop is a raster graphic application used to edit and manipulate images. So raster made of pixel. That's why we are dealing with resolutions. And this one is the menu bar. The option bar, the toolbar, when you can find the all functions, the palette, where you can find the colors, the layers, and this is the document or canvas. So, when we do our new project, so just click the file and the click new and then put the title of what your project is so for this time we will talk about rendering intent so ano yung intention mo we have a color mode rgb color and cmyk color yan so if it is cmyk color your intent must be for printing so the standard is 300 for the resolution so um and in rgb is for viewing so let us um, observe the image size if it is rgb look, standard is 72 but you can still adjust the lower the image size is the lower the quality the higher the image size is the higher the quality it's all about color mood and resolution so that's what our intention be our rendering intent and here in the preset we have uh, what we called international paper so we see here the sizes a4 a6 so in international paper the higher the number is is the smaller the paper the lower the number is is the bigger the paper so but um, we are using also us paper where we can find the letter size and the legal and tabloid but i am always using the custom where i can manipulate the sizes of what i want so 8.5 and 11 is just a letter size dibu pa pa so that's it for our rendering intent and paper sizes. So let's go with the functions of our toolbar. So for Windows, Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 is just the same with the Adobe Photoshop CC 2014 for the Mac. So don't worry guys, it's just the same. Okay, so we can use the touchpad or mouse or any drawing tablet so i am just using now my touchpad so just drag the 
zoom in and zoom out but you can also find it in the toolbar you can click and in the option bar that one plus is zoom in minus is zoom out so this is the zoom out and zooming in okay so let's start with rectangular market tool or just m in the keyboard it is for selection so if you have an image you will just select this one and use the move tool or just v shortcut in keyboard and you can move the image that you want to move and this one is lasso tool it's just for also for selection that one and we have magic wand tool we'll just w Just click with the image that you want to choose. We have quick selection tool. And this one is a perspective crop tool. Where you can find the crop tool, slice tool. So uh, I use this one in use more in making a web design. So especially the slice tool and this one is eyedropper tool or just i in the keyboard you will just click on the color that you want and then the foreground color will be changed so yeah for example like that just click the color we have spot healing brush tool just j in the keyboard and this is also for editing pictures but i did not really use this one and this one is the brush tool the we have pencil tool color replacement tool and the mixer brush tool so we will change first the color of our brush okay and then this what it looks like if you will use the brush tool and then pencil tool look with the difference we have a color replacement tool okay. of course we will change the color first and then just click zoom in so that you will see oh, just like that and then we have mixer brush tool if you know the oil pastel in the color so you are just blending the colors we have clone stamp tool just as I am not always using this one also but you can explore we also have a history brush tool or the art history brush tool and this one eraser tool where you can erase what you have um, done so or the background you can erase also and here we have gradient tool paint bucket tool and 3d material drop tool so you will just click the g in the keyboard and then tips when doing something you need to add layer okay for example and may nagawa ka na and then you forget to put a background so it's just the white you will just click the ito parang mata so for the visibility of the layer so, always add layer so that mag magkamali ka man di mahirap burahin or ulitin for example let's 
have another layer and then we will use the blue just click this is the paint bucket pool just click the layer and it will be changed in color of what you like so we also try the gradient tool just click click the background and change the color right and then just drag with your mouse or with your touchpad and then you can change the color just click with the design that you want for example this one you can find it in our option bar Just drag and drag and drag. So here, with our gradient tool, we can create our own background. No, we can change colors that we like. Just click the foreground and the background color. So now is the blur tool. So you can use this one also in. Um, editing pictures this one is the dodge tool burn tool sponge tool and then this one is pen tool I usually use it when I um, get the background colors of the picture Next is the horizontal type tool, vertical type tool, horizontal type mask tool, vertical mask tool. So, it's just for our text. Change the color. Okay. Then just click. And then, type of the word that you like. Highlight the text. This is the center the position then this one is the style or warp text and then this one is the size the text size this one is the font styles so here you can add uh, font styles just search in the google download and install so you can have a styles of you like your path selection tool rectangular tool so this one you can make shapes rectangles and change colors colors of you like so that one you are adding the next shape mm. Mm. then the rounded rectangular tool ellipse tool you can also make circles in ellipse tool polygon tool you can have the pentagon then line tool and costume shape tool so you can choose any shape that you like for example this arrow just drag it then next is the hand tool or H for moving your image then the zoom zooming in and zooming out and then this one is edit in quick mass change screen mode so you can really explore for using photoshop so you can learn by your experience same as me you can invent explore and create so that's it for the introduction to photoshop 
for saving just click the file save as just save the photoshop or just a you can have also jpeg so you can encounter that one in my other tutorial thank you and god bless